Hey guys, welcome to another DevSecOps tutorial where I'm going to show you how to use Ansible. Uh, first thing to know about Ansible is how to manage inventory, um, uh, inventory files. So what I'm going to do is in the root of my working directory, I'm going to create a file called hosts. And that host file, it uses an INI format. So in brackets, you can define a group. In this case, we're going to create a group called web servers. And if you take a look at my SSH config file, I have a host here called web server. Define the host name, uh, which is the IP address of the server. Set strict host key checking to no, know. And the path to the SSH key used to access this server. What that allows me to do, instead of specifying the IP address in Ansible, in the Ansible inventory, I could just call it by uh, a more friendly name, uh, in this case, web server. Now, since I'm going to be working with multiple files, I'm going to go ahead and rename this. So just uh, open up uh, VI, press I to insert, underscore one, because so we're going to uh, define multiple servers here. <coughs> There we go. Web server one. Now, to uh, we need to define what user we're going to use to log into this server. And what I'm going to do is, as next to um, the host, I can define a variable. In this case, the Ansible user is going to be CentOS. The Amazon instances, the AWS instances, the CentOS user is CentOS. So I'm going to use an Ansible ad hoc command. We're going to call the group, which was web servers, specify the host file, and use the module ping. So dash I for host, dash M for ping, and we got our Pong reply. Now let's uh, let's go ahead and add another host. Uh, now defining the Ansible user uh, per host can be kind of cumbersome, but you can do it. Uh, so in this case, we can say uh, Ansible user sent OS, but uh, an easier way is to manage, since the user for these two hosts are the same, is to define another group and modify it and say this is going to be the variables for this group. And the variable is Ansible user. The value is sent OS. So now if I modify my config file, we're going to do a little bit of cleanup here. We're going to go ahead and add a second host. The same thing here. I don't like to uh, repeat things over and over. So let's go ahead and create the new host, Web Server 2. And we're going to add the host name, which is its IP address. I can type here. There we go. Now I can do strict host key checking here for each one, but a better solution, since I, I want to disable this for all the hosts that I, I add, is to find a new host, use a wildcard, and say for all hosts, I'm going to disable strict host key checking. We're going to do the same thing with the identity file. Give it the path to where I store the private keys. If I can spell the name right. Now, escape and DD to remove those two lines. There. It's a little bit cleaner. Now, we have a group def uh, variable for Ansible user that we're going to call on both hosts. Let's go ahead and see if we can ping both of those hosts. And there we go. Now, managing variables in a host file is not really a scalable way of managing variables for multiple hosts. So uh, a little cleaner way of, of managing these is uh, by using a directory called host vars and another directory called group vars. Now, in each, uh, for each host, we have to create a YAML file in host vars for uh, each host, in this case, web server one and web server two. 
There we go. And while I'm here, I'm going to go ahead and create the variable file for the group VARS uh, web server. Now, as you can see, I have host VARS and group VARS that match my group and my hosts. So web server 1, web server 2, I have files called web server 1 and web server 2. Now I'm going to add my three dashes at the top of my file so that my text editor knows that these are all YAML files. Save those real quick. Now I'm going to define Ansible user sent OS under my web server group variable name. I won't need this section anymore in my host variable file or my host file. And for web server one and web server two, we're gonna just define a variable called my var. And we just set it to a string called server one. We'll do the same thing for server two. Make sure it interprets it as a string. We'll do the same thing here. Uh, you know what? I don't want the dash. Let me get rid of that. And make sure I put this around quotes. There we go. Go back and clean up web server one file now so that it matches. There we go. All right. And let's go ahead and run our Ansible command on the web servers group. Specify our host inventory file and the ping module. And we got an error. I think I know what it is. That's it. Our file name is missing an S at the end. So let's go ahead and rename that file to group web servers. So it actually matches web server. There we go. Now let's run this one more time. We got our response. Perfect. Now, let's uh, <coughs> let's do a little cleanup. Run this again. Make sure we can still ping our hosts. There we go. Now let's uh, let's see how we can use our uh, web server one, web server two specific variables. So I'm going to use a different ad hoc command and we're going to actually use a shell and we're going to use something called a Jinja templating to call a variable inside and we're just going to echo out the variable myvar. As you can see we have web server 1 and web server 2. And that's it. Thanks for watching guys. Leave any comments. Let me know if you have any questions. And we'll see you on the next video. Bye.